Samsung recently announced one of the most controversial Galaxy devices ever, the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Some people think it's a good upgrade, others think it's literally the same device as the Galaxy Z Fold 4. It's actually both. Here's why. Now, in case you've been living with no internet, Samsung unveiled a couple of devices a few days ago. The Galaxy Z Fold 5, the Z Flip 5, the Galaxy Watch 6 lineup, and the Galaxy Tab S9 Ultra. But in this video, we're only going to be talking about the Galaxy Z Fold 5, and this device has two sides. So, let me talk about the positives first before course samsung fans just click away and mess up my analytics now samsung is known for changing the design and look of their devices regularly as opposed to companies like say apple or google that can use one similar design for like five years or so so when samsung unveiled the galaxy z fold 5 and it had the same design as the last two foldables a lot of people were kind of disappointed myself included but if you can look beyond that design you kind of see why this might be a good upgrade firstly this design is not bad at all Gorilla glass victus 2 ipx8 water resistance a clean triple rear camera system this design is good just that we've seen it a lot now before we come continue the video here's an ad so i'm an editor and a content creator i mean i edit all my videos my gaming videos my brand videos and so much more and i do get jobs from time to time but i need more and if there's anything i've learned from upwork and fiverr is that getting jobs on those platforms especially as a newcomer is really really tough so i'm actually open for editing jobs i'll leave my discord and my email down in the description reach out to me however you want to so back to the video now one major improvement is the new hinge mechanism that samsung is calling the new flex hinge which is simply a water drop mechanism that we've seen on previous chinese foldables so this enables the device to be closed completely without the weird gap that we've seen on previous samsung foldables it also prevents stuff like dust or debris from getting in there which is is actually a very good upgrade now another part of this device that is a major upgrade is the display well more specifically the display brightness because that's the only improvement to the display same screen size same resolution now instead of the native 1000 nits of peak brightness that we saw on the galaxy z fold 4 you get up to 1750 nits of peak brightness that's almost times two which is a massive upgrade then last but not least is the processor now this device is powered by the snapdragon 8 gen 2 for galaxy which you saw on the galaxy s23 ultra and this chipset has proven to be outstanding so far i mean it's not just the most powerful android chipset out there but it beats even the a16 bionic chip on the iphone 14 pro max in some performance areas and the optimization on this chipset be it when it comes to software optimization battery or even the cameras is second to none so this enough i think is a major reason to upgrade so that's basically the positives here every other thing on this device is the same as the galaxy z fold 4 and i mean every other thing which brings us to the will i say negatives of this device if you have a galaxy z fold 4 except from the display and the new chipset in my opinion there's really actually no major need for you to upgrade because the z fold 5 costs around 1800 dollars or close to 1.6 million naira in nigeria and that's just for the base model now yes i know the base model is now starting with 256 gigabytes as opposed to the native 128 gigs but the fact that they didn't improve the core issues that the galaxy z fold 4 had is very weird like the major complaints with the z fold 4 was that it had an average battery average cameras for an almost two thousand dollar device and also the s pen was not integrated into to the device which are still problems that exist with the galaxy z fold 5 it has the same batteries same average cameras on the device this expensive and though there's a new case that makes the s pen look better with the phone it still doesn't match pulling out your galaxy z fold 5 and just popping the s pen out of the device like imagine how cool that would look i know that some of you might say you can't have space for all that in a foldable you actually can as we've seen with other chinese brands like oppo vivo and honor making amazing foldables with bigger batteries and way better cameras so in conclusion i think we can all agree that upgrading from the galaxy z fold 4 to the galaxy z fold 5 is not really needed but still if you're trying to experience these foldable devices or maybe you have an older galaxy z fold or z fold 2 and you want a foldable that is kind of solid with great performance great display and the very best software optimization on any foldable device i don't think you can go wrong with the galaxy z fold 5 anyways tell me what you think down in the comment section all the links will be in the description and with that said i'll see you next time